So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you guys happen to be dropping in, uh, checking out the content on the channel. Um, I'm going to do something a little differently as far as a video upload goes today. I'm going to try my hand at some vlogging, so um apologize if these seems kind of sporadic and all over the place as far as the way I shoot this, because I've never really done a vlog video before. But um, right now we're just kind of waiting for the sun to come up. Let me brighten up a little bit outside so I can actually hit the woods and uh, go forage some ginseng. Um, something that you guys might know, might not know is um, the very first set of custom throwing knives that I bought off of Joe Dura. Uh, my Broken Feather Custom uh, Griffins. I purchased with uh, money that I earned through foraging ginseng. And it's a... Uh, Something I, I used to do uh, just about every year when season rode around, me and my uncle would uh, make a, a little tradition out of it, you know, and hit the uh, the mountains up and um, go dig sang. Got a little bit here. Got a little bit of a start for this season. I mean, nothing, nothing biblical, nothing too, too big, but um, average size bunches. Got a little bit of snake root right there in that plate. I don't even know if they're buying snake root this year. But it takes a lot to actually accumulate a pound of that dry. It's good money if you can get a couple of pounds of it dry. But now as far as saying goes this season, is the, the prices. I think they're starting at like $140 a pound wet and maybe... I'm guessing if I heard correct, it's about four, maybe 400 to 420 a pound dry. The goal is to try to, uh, if I can't at least get a couple of pounds dug wet that I can take in immediately. Um, I'm trying to dig enough and dry enough to possibly maybe purchase a ticket to Danger Fest. Go up and uh, see um, Danger and Hawkeye and Alicia and... Uh, all the full team clan fam up in Indiana here in a couple of weeks. But um, if I'm unable to get enough to actually um, purchase a ticket, I'll probably uh, end up donating what money I get to a friend who um, had an unfortunate loss this past summer. But um, we'll see. I don't know. But um, right now it's still uh, pretty early. I gotta wait for the sun to come up and I gotta double check my bag. Make sure I got all my stuff that I need to take back with me in the woods. I'm obviously gonna have to sit here and roll a couple of cigarettes. So I'm not going in the mountains without any nicotine, but uh So go ahead and uh double check all my stuff here, make sure I got water, some things to snack on while I'm in the woods. And um I guess a little bit of a uh Easter egg of things to come. Got me a tape line there sitting. <laughs> it's going to be a uh, future project this fall. Get back to uh, a little something something. I'm not going to specify exactly, but you can, you can get the idea what that's going to be used for. But um, anyway, let's, um, let's double check my bag. Make sure I got everything I need, and then we'll uh, begin our journey. And while I'm waiting for it uh, to brighten up a little bit outside, I'll sit here and ponder and think of a place I can possibly go to forage a little thing today. So I'll catch you guys uh, whenever we actually get out, uh, get out of the house and start our journey, because we're gonna have a, a little bit of a walk to go to get to where I'm gonna probably be foraging. So hopefully, you guys will enjoy the vid. But um, I'll see. You and the rest of the vlog as soon as we uh, get around to doing that. So, we got a little bit of a walk to go. We actually get to the uh, foraging grounds. Now, as I was uh, getting prepared earlier this morning, waiting for it to brighten up a little bit, which, apologize, you can't really see my face right now. <laughs> It's a, a 15 to 8. Uh, we've got a good 30 minute walk before we get to where we're going. Which obviously, I mean, we're not going to have the uh, full 30 minute walk there. But uh, hopefully we'll do okay. It's still kind of early in the season where we've had a lot of rainfall this summer. Um, 
a lot of the vegetation that would normally be uh, dying down and dying off still pretty green and lively so unless we uh, come upon some uh, bunches that have some fairly decent tops that are actually sticking out above it and uh, some fully developed uh, pods of red berries it's gonna be kind of hard to um, actually find some decent bunches a lot of the time saying we'll get started but um, because of the surrounding vegetation uh, it gets uh, outgrown and uh, gets hidden by the surrounding uh, plant and vegetation within the woodlands so hopefully won't have too hard of a problem finding anything but uh we're just gonna see what happens and go with the flow so for those that are not educated on ginseng it's a herb uh, comes in season you just can't go out and uh, forage and dig it any time of the year you usually have to wait uh, around the end of the summer beginning of fall but a week or two into uh, September depending on whenever they decide to regulate and start the season for that year uh, got to harvest mature mature plants that are old enough mature enough to be dug so we'll mainly be going for uh, what is called three and four prongs uh, if we do happen to find any bunches with some pods of red berries we'll undoubtedly be sowing the seeds back in the same location that we dug so with the used ginseng for a variety of different things uh, mainly uh, energy supplements we use it in some hygiene products uh, tops are probably used for uh, green tea but um should be a good old interesting time back in the mountains a nice little walk up the four lane but um i think at this point i'm just going to cut it off from here and uh get back at you guys once we get in the woods and then from there uh, hopefully uh the magic will start <laughs> so catch you guys here uh shortly after this nice 30 minute walk All right, so after a good 30, 45 minute walk and, you know, minusing a 10 minute trudge up in here, we're uh, finally in the, in the woods, the area we want to be. Um, we got some options as far as which way we're going to go, but um, I think we're probably going to bear off out towards the right here. Uh, we could possibly, as we're going out through here, along this flat, before we come into another hauler, find a few bunches, but, um, we're going to see what happens. As you seen there, I took a little 360 point of view shot of the area. It's really beautiful back here. It's pretty, uh, pretty quiet and peaceful this time of the morning, anytime the hour the day <laughs> being this far back in the woods uh, pretty peaceful relatively quiet despite a uh, few birds chirping off in the distance but, uh, take a few minutes to uh, catch my breath and collect myself and um, we'll slowly start moseying on out through this way and see if we can't uh, possibly find a uh, First few bunches of saying to uh, get this morning started. So, 
smoke them if you got them. And uh, we're going to begin, begin this journey right here in a few more minutes. So, after a little bit of walking, we have finally countered some signs. Some ginseng. Two very young little two prongs right here. We're uh, we're not gonna dig these, but um, it's an interesting point to bring up. I guess seeing how we're here, uh, one thing is for making ginseng very hard, very rare, and uh, extremely scarce whenever it comes to foraging grounds is uh, greedy bastards that like to dig um, bunches like this. I mean, I could take the time to uh, dig this up show you the size of the root and then replant it back into the ground but um there's no point uh but yeah bunches like this right here probably not even two or three years old at tops uh, not even developed the five leaf patterns you can see uh that one right there four and three leaf pattern but when saying starts maturing it will prong out and the leaf pattern will go to a five leaf pattern uh, right here in the center of the prongs the plant is mature enough to um, be pollinated and actually produce berries and we'll produce a uh, berry pod in the center but yeah that's a good sign we're actually starting to get an area in the stretch of the woods and we might start finding a uh, some bunches that are uh, mature enough to harvest. Nice little bunches. Uh, we'll leave them be. Come back in another 10 and 15 years maybe and uh, actually have some size to it. So let's uh, mosey on out through. It's starting to brighten up a little bit. We have covered a little bit of ground since I stopped and took a breather and whatnot. But uh not too much further to the holler that we're gonna go and see if we can't find a couple of nice bunches in. Starting to warm up a little bit. It was a little chilly, cold morning air, but um, let's get out through here and make something happen. So I got another little two prong right here. It's nice to actually be seeing uh, some signs, some young saying. Still not a uh, mature enough bunch for us to harvest and dig, but um, nonetheless, it is nice to see that saying is uh, cultivating and growing back in this area. And God knows me coming in here for. Uh, Quite a few years and actually sowing seeds back it's good to see that um they're actually sprouting and taking root and developing so let's get on out through here and see if we can possibly find something that's mature enough to harvest because we don't want to be digging stuff like this but yeah it is good to see that it's actually um Actually recultivating and getting started up in here real good again. Even if it is but like a few bunches. Young uh, bunches just scattered abroad here and there. We'll eventually come across something that's worth digging. So just bear with me and be patient. Just going out through here and see if we can't find something. It's starting to look really nice out through that way. Start to see we got change of vegetation and timber going out through here. So we start getting these deep hollers and stuff. We should uh, eventually begin finding some fairly decent bunches. So let's uh, move along here. All right, we finally got something here that might be diggable. A little three prong here. Looks like it just turned to three this year. This little top. Clear off these leaves and we'll get a better idea of what's going on here. I need to find this curl first. The 
before we make any uh, decisions I actually dig. The guy looks a little little confused. <laughs> Didn't mean to carry your home up there, Mr. Spider. You know, worst case scenario, if this isn't mature enough to dig, I can just always uh, leave it be. But we won't know until we actually get to the curl. I have a Matic, but I don't really want to be swinging around right now. way maybe move that to the side for now might make it a little easier yeah it's so and so Not too, too shabby for a fat little root. Now we'll actually keep that one. And at least we got something. So that's a start. Uh, hopefully mosey around in here and find something a little bit bigger than that. That is a, uh, it's mature enough to harvest. The biggest root in the world. But it is a nice little average size bunch considering. Alright, so we got some we got a start here, so let's mosey around and see if we can't find some more, shall we? So finally we do have something that's worthy of uh being dug and there's no doubt about it. We probably can't even see it and um for those that uh, they do have a trained eye for saying, you're probably already seeing it without me having to point it out to those that uh, are less educated in gin singing. But um, I mean, obviously, see, we got like a little bitty uh, two right there. That's not what I'm talking about. Check this out. Let's move this uh, black cohosh top out of the way. Check that out right there. It's a good size little three prong. Um, I'm gonna take a moment to clear out some of the surrounding vegetation and set up my tripod. And uh, we're gonna dig this bad boy and see what we got. We may actually stick around in this area and comb back and forth a little bit because um, off cam I've been finding little, little young toes and stuff like that. Nothing really mature enough to be digging and fooling with, but this right here, it's gonna be a fair, fairly decent bunch. You can just tell by looking at the top. We do have uh, one red berry, but um, despite the other ones not being green, that, that's not a problem. Because after we dig this and uh, harvest the root, we can always um, put the top back down in the, uh, the top soil. And, um, what moisture and nutrition it can get from the soil will allow the uh, the berries that have it ripened and fully uh, matured to actually um, turn red and fall off and be able to recultivate and uh, populate the area with sing. But yeah, I'm gonna clear the area out here just a little bit and double check and make sure there's no yellow jackets nest or anything in the ground. It's really important. <laughs> um, Always check the ground before you, you, you bend down to dig. <laughs> Start harvesting a bunch. Pay very close attention to the ground around you. Make sure there's no snakes like copperheads or rattlesnakes. And just make sure there is no yellow jackets that are nested in the ground when you go to dig. But yeah, let's, uh, let's clear this 
Send the shit out of the way, and then we'll dig this bad boy up. Alright, I got the area cleared out enough to do something here. To be honest, this two down below it here don't doesn't really look that bad. But just for the sake of argument, I'm gonna clip that top so if somebody does it uh come in behind me and find that and dig it. see what we got here. So we broke that trying to clear a spot here to dig this. It'd be a pretty decent bunch from what I'm seeing. Okay, looks really nice. Oh yeah, this is a uh, Looking pretty good. Got to figure out which way it's going before I start swinging my matic around. Yeah, I think I know which way it's going here. So this dirt out of the way. Alright, hey, yeah, there we go. It's not too bad. Try to get it out of the ground here without breaking it. And about 30 more like this today, we've accomplished something. That is a nice, average-looking bunch of ginseng. Now, if you're finding stuff like that all day long, you can't complain. And I not broke that, uh, that one prong off it. Still pretty top, but... um. Yeah, that's not a bad a bad find. Hopefully uh, we can comb around here in this section, find a few more like that. Been back here for quite a while. Sometimes it uh, just takes a while to, to find stuff. It's the thing with ginseng, and, uh, you got to have patience to do it because it really is a foraging. Um, when it comes to herbs and medicinal herb foraging and um, whatnot it's it's definitely something that will um it will undoubtedly try your patience because to be fair i've probably been in the mountains for at least a good hour now and uh you see that we were finding those young bunches you know something that's not even mature enough to harvest and dig and then just like that boom from out of nowhere Find a nice little mature three. So we'll comb around through here a little more and see if we can't find a few more nice hardy little bunches like this. Cause um, I've been in here before and I've not really uh, had a whole lot of luck in this particular section. But um, something to make note of: the saying, uh, does it always come up every year? There are some bunches that will kind of remain dormant in the ground. And uh, we'll come up the next year, or it may take more than a few years for it to actually develop a bud and uh, sprout a top. So, hopefully uh, we'll find something that's not been up in a while in here today. That has a, a lot more uh, significant size to it than this. But that right there is not bad. That's a nice, average, decent bunch of saying. So, let's uh, continue on up through here. Just combing around back and forth and see if we can't find some more. So it actually got me a little hyped and stoked. I'm hoping uh, we'll find a few more up through here uh, similar to that. But yeah, if you're uh, you're singing and you get an area and you're finding stuff like that, uh, you're doing good. 
All right, so let's kill this for now and uh, continue going up through here, shall we? We got a tiny little three here that I'm going to check. The only reason why I'm going to check it is because right here beside it, we got something that looks a little suspect. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that is a really weird deformed deformed two. Uh, probably nothing, but I, I, I am digging that three, and I am going to check this two just to uh, check it. Sometimes when you get some weird deformed looking tops like that right there, um, you could have something old, you know, deer. It's probably ate the top off of it and it's actually rebutted. But um let's dig that right there and see what it looks like. And then we might possibly check that. I may leave that alone. But it does look kind of suspect to me. That three right there should be a nice little fat average bunch. So let's get set up and dig that. Alright, let's see what we got here. I don't even need my Matic to get this out of the ground. I may end up leaving this one, depending on what it looks like. It's a young three, but it is fair game. Right, which way the road is running here before I opt to start swinging around. I think I have a good general idea which way it's going. Alright, that's not too bad. Nice little fat hardy bunch. Nowhere as good as the one we found there a minute ago, but hey, it's a nice little firm, hard bunch of sink. Surprised there's nothing else here because um, the two right there is really suspect. But um, we're going to leave that two, you know, I thought about checking it. But let's just go ahead and clip this top. Well, let's see what we got going on here. You know what? We're actually going to dig this. What I can see here. Okay, we're it's coming out of the ground. I'm going to try to get this out of the ground and show you what I'm talking about. You can see that that's obviously a lot older, but look how small the curl is on that compared to this. Notice the size comparison in the curl. You know, I said that top looked really suspect. There was a possibility that a deer could have bit the top off and um, plant had to develop a new uh, bud in order to sprout. It's not too bad. Does it hurt to check those little deformed tops on two prongs like that? If they're uh, they don't have any significant size and show any signs of being mature enough to dig, put them back in the ground, leave them be. That's going to be the one exception. Just mainly due to what that top looked like. So we're starting to make a little progress progress here, getting some nice little fat, hardy meaty average size bunches. Let's 
good to finally get in a section of the, uh, the mountains here where I'm finding something. I've never really done that great in this section of the woods before. So I'm really going to say that we're going to do supremely well and awesome today in this area, but um, we'll just uh, go with the flow, keep uh, combing around through here and see if we can't find a few more. It's my turn to like a two two part vlog. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to hop off here for now and uh, get, get back to combing around. It's really nice back here. Yeah. <laughs> 